Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Let's wrap up the Porsche 911 today. We have a huge portion of it protected with paint protection film from Flexi Shield, the whole front clip, mirrors, lower rockers. And we're going to use a ceramic metal oxide coating to protect the rest of the surfaces on this vehicle, external surfaces, anyways. Before we do, we're going to walk around, make sure there's no polished residues or oils using Gion Prep. Also, please excuse my voice today as a stubborn sinus condition it just will not leave. But the show must go on. With the surface prepped, we could reach for our Apex Surface Protection Ceramic Metal Oxide Coating. This contains ATO, antimony tenoxide, a few other oxides, with the strength of fighting the sun's harmful rays and heat dispersion. One layer is all you need that will give you the protection for years. If you're unsure of yourself that you don't have even coverage or entire coverage, you can go ahead and apply a second layer to make sure, but really no benefits as the coating starts to reject itself after a while. And that happens with most coatings when you go to layer. Within the rich formula of the metal oxide coating, the predominant ingredient within the formula is ATO, amongst other oxides, which is antimony tenoxide. In the Middle Eastern countries, ATO is used in window films and high rises to uh, help control uh, heat disbursement keeps the energy consumption down in the high rises and is used in many applications in those countries where they have the direct strong beaming sunlight and extreme heat simply layer the coating on top of the surface one panel at a time from top to bottom a two to three foot section at a time and use straight lines do not crisscross unless you're in a controlled environment why Straight lines without crisscrossing is a little bit less friction and will cut down on the flash time. In a controlled environment, you're looking at a minute and a half before you gotta stop and go back and start wiping the coating off the surface as it is starting to bond and it's time to remove the transfer solution. If you're in extreme heat and humidity, that may be cut down to about 45 seconds. By the way, I just didn't throw the coating out there uh, without offering certification and proper training to make sure you're comfortable applying the product. You can easily get a hold of me for that. You can get certified, get a hard copy certification through the mail, and then a code, a discount code, the application price for those installers, which is 20% off. Here's a first person uh, view or look at the application and wipe off process to show how easy it is and it's highly recommended that you're sheltered and have a nice enclosed area like a shop to apply the coating for best results. The envision of the formula being used here on a daily basis, I also wanted to make enough so I can offer it to you guys if you want to add another weapon to your arsenal of protection. All there is to it. The gloss slickness already setting in and that will increase over the next couple days. And you'll be around this size vehicle rather quickly. Now, all you need is to let it sit and cure for just four hours. Top it with either our bead or sheet, which is a temporary um, sacrificial layer for the coating, breathable layer as it cures. Uh, if you want to keep using it, reapply every two months or so. It's not meant to be a long-standing standalone sealant, as I will come out with something like that in the future. But I wanted something to send it away from the shop if there's inclement weather rolling up uh, so the customer can get um, into his vehicle, enjoy it, start to use it without that 24, 48-hour, 12-hour cure period. By the way, here at Apex Detail, we care for, prep, and protect all painted surfaces, every square inch. That means under the hood and the trunk, door jams, every stone is turned. You'd be surprised how many detail shops overlook these areas. As we hear, we're quality over quantity, so we will stop and take the time and care for and protect all of these surfaces.
By the way, guys, it's all in the details, and we pay attention to everything our customers say. This incredible customer mentioned he's in and out of his frunk all the time, and we wanted something for him to look at spectacular underneath the hood, so we cared for, prepped, and protected the painted surfaces under there. It didn't take that much more time, guys. Take the time, get the job done right. And look at that. Every time he pops the lid, it's going to be gleaming underneath here. The Apex Surface Protection Wheel Coat is cured. Time to secure the wheels onto the vehicle again and ease it down onto the floor as the shop manager closes in and keeps an eye on my work. Now, before I let it down, I like to take care of the tires. In this case, it's gonna be a coating, a tire coating from Art to Shine. And I will address that while the car is in the air so we don't have a problem applying to the rubber where it beats the floor. Now it's time to pay some attention to the windshield and we're going to coat it with the Art to Shine Graphene Window Coating. Piece of cake to apply and wipe off. Very effective. is it that wraps up this package. I'll let you enjoy as we walk around the car inside and out. If you have any questions at all on the process or you would like it done to your baby, your ride, get in contact. Uh, we're easy to get a hold of and we will oblige your requests. I truly appreciate each and every one of you that hung in there throughout the series. It was a little bit longer than usual, but I do want to put some of these vlogs out there for customers only so they can see the work and the love and care that is um, being directed towards their vehicle. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.